Hey everybody, I'm back y'all with another video. So let's jump into it, y'all see the title. Let's go ahead and jump into it guys. For those of you who have already subscribed to the channel, thank you all for your love and support. If you have not, be sure to subscribe guys, as well as like the video if you can relate or you know, if you just like the video. So let's get a collective read. Give me a message for the collective. We got the answer is no. We got regret. Spring. Shadow work dark night of soul and surrender somebody does not want to surrender all right somebody <laughs> does not want to let go of their dark side let me make sure that the cards you're able to see the cards somebody doesn't want to let go of their dark side they don't want to surrender okay they don't want to let go of something here it's very dark something that they may have tried to hide I feel like this person is choosing to settle when dealing with whatever this dark side to them is it's like they're just settling for it they're just settling this person is just settling for it something dark about their past or something that they um, something that you may know, something that you may not know. They're just choosing to just settle for it. They're settling. Just deal with it. Hey, I'll just deal with it type of energy. Okay, so it's something about their past. Something about their past with nostalgia here. So something about their past. It's very deceptive. Something about this person is very, this person is very unawakened. There's something, there's something about this person. This person is sneaky. Okay, something about their past is very deceptive. This person likes to turn a blind eye to it, act like it doesn't exist, like, yeah, whatever. You know, it is what it is. I feel like you two weren't able to come to uh, a compromise. So maybe you two decided to go your separate ways. Um, but this person still watches you. This person still spies on you. They still try to keep up with what you have going on. But there's something here about this person's past. that This person has a dark past. Their past is very dark. And um, they're just not ready to surrender. They just aren't ready to let something about their past go. Yeah, see, they said they have free will. And this person definitely knows that they need to purge, that they need to stop, whatever this is. They, they literally know that they need to stop what they're doing. This is something that may have been going on with them since they were a child. This is why they could have been kind of like um, isolated. Always kind of like the black sheep. But I feel like this person, they know damn well that something that they do or something that, it's something that they do. It's because they're continuing to do it. It's a certain behavior trait, a characteristic about this person. Maybe they're a narcissist. It's something here. Or they could just be simply dealing with someone in their past that they everyone thought that that was over with okay this person loves to play the victim but really what this person is really wanting they just want free will they just want to be able to do whatever they want like this is the point that they're trying to prove that i do whatever i want but if they get caught then they play the victim okay now grief popped out so this person they're in grief they're in some type trapped inside their own mind, trapped in their head, trapped in their thoughts, trapped in their 
trapped in a situation they're not sure how to get out of. So they're just choosing to settle. We got a divine feminine here. Which I'm getting could be you. Some of them tribe. I feel like this person is I feel like you I feel like in divine timing, this person is gonna reach out to you. We got received. I feel like right now this person could be around a lot of people, but when this person gets by themselves and has time to think, I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. They want a fresh start with you. They're going to come in wanting some type of commitment. I feel like they know, they feel like this is what you want, so this is how they're going to come towards you. They're going to be painting this picture, <laughs> painting this picture of like, yeah, we could do, you know, we could do this, we could do that, we could do make this happen, make that happen. But something about this person just gives, like, they aren't ready. They aren't ready. Yeah, purge. They know that they have to get rid of whatever this is. I feel like it's a person. I feel like it's a, it's a situation, a situation ship um, that they have to let go of. They know that before they even come back around to you. They know this. They know that already. They absolutely know that. And but they are spying on you. <laughs> they are definitely observing you from a distance. They observe you from a distance. They could tell that you're focused. Your focus is somewhere else. I feel like you you put your focus elsewhere. <laughs> You put your focus elsewhere instead of playing a victim in a situation. I, I feel like you could have decided to put your focus elsewhere, which is very good. We got soulmate and fifth dimension. This person feels like you're their twin flame, but they know they have to take a new direction. Okay, they have to take a new direction. And also, this person has a lot of lessons that they need to go through and see for themselves with dealing with this third party. This person ha could have had you in a third party. Okay, this, there's a lesson, there's a cycle that this, this masculine here has to go through. Okay, in order for him to be reinvented, I feel like this person, they just chose to settle with a karmic. They just just chose to just settle instead of putting in the work um, with the divine family. I feel like they they weren't mentally or emotionally there. So they just decided to just settle for whatever they are. Yeah, lessons. This, this man's gonna have some lessons to learn for sure. They got some lessons that they got to go through before this cycle ends and is completely like over. This connection is blocking this masculine from making some type of commitment to you because they're having a hard time releasing, releasing this connection. They are come, coming to take action towards you. I feel like they're trying to get their finances together as well. Um, and they're trying to free themselves up. And this, this this masculine is hoping that you can understand where they're coming from. Um, but they are planning on taking some type of action towards you. But there are some lessons that this that this masculine right here got to learn. And there's some lessons that this karmic is going to teach this masculine. And spirit doesn't want you in the way of that. Let them get their karma. Let them get their, let them get what they need. Let them get what they need because everything ain't peachy king, trust me. All right, let's see what's going on. What is brewing? Oh, private relationship. Private relationship. 
keeping them a promise. Okay, so this masculine promised this karmic that they were going to be together. Okay, and I feel like this masculine has been running away from this and running away from it and running away from it for the longest. So this masculine told this karmic that they were going to have them, that they were going to be together. And they know, just the thing about it, this masculine knows that he fucked up when he told this karmic this. Because she's going to hold him to it. She said, if you don't, if you don't keep your end of the deal, it's going to be a nightmare. I'm going to touch down and cause hell. Don't want to hear it. Yeah, she said, she said, all that running away, running back over there to Divine Feminine, running over here, running over there. She said she don't want to hear it. She's not going for it this time. And she told him she better watch out, protect yourself, needed to keep yourself safe. And she said if he try to run off, she going to set it off, baby. And she coming to set the record straight, and it's going to be total drama. So this Carmine got this Carmine got this masculine scared, okay? So this masculine is scared to come towards you. And you know he got to he gotta, uh, tighten up and straighten up to even come back around to you. This karmic man felt some way because she found out what the masculine does for the divine feminine or what type of time you, what type of benefits or whatever you were getting from the connection and feel some type of way because she, she did not get the same in return. All right, so that's what I got y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm gonna chat with y'all later.